Hello everybody, I am live. I'm gonna try this again. I tried one of these earlier this week and uh, see if I could uh, get this to work. And I figured out a few things in the process and I'll see if I can figure out some more stuff tonight. This is gonna to be a short one, but I hope everybody's having a good Saturday night, had a good work week, and that you had a chance to relax and have uh, some fun today. Uh, I'm just uh, gonna take a look here in a second. I have a computer here next to me to see how this thing is uh, what it looks like on this side and see if I can monitor some things over here and let's see if I'm uh, yep it shows me live there so I'm gonna pull this up and see if I can see a chat if anybody comes up uh, to watch yes send a message in the chat and see if I can uh, see what it says there we go I'm kind of looking off to the side I got a PC over here and so I've got this up here okay so it looks like I'm talking to myself which is fine for now uh, I spent about an hour today trying to work on a video and uh, sometimes when you're making these videos it can be kind of a, a, a challenge you run into oddball kind of things uh, I was doing a doing one on effects I should have this one out next week but it's going to be on on with an electric guitar and be talking it's just kind of a, a basic primer for effects and I first started using effects you know when I was like you know 16 I had a guitar and an amp and just couldn't figure out why I wasn't getting the sounds that other people got on their, their records and stuff. And so I, I you know, finally, somebody at the music store said, well, you need a pedal. Oh, well, it's a pedal. And they showed me what the wah-wah pedals were and fuzz pedals and all that kind of stuff. And so uh, I started with there, figure out how to modify my sounds and come up with different things. And so I've enjoyed using pedals a lot on the, on the guitar. Well, on this one, let me see, let me tweak this light just a wee little bit. There, maybe it's a little bit better. Now it's a lot of glare. Okay, I'm still trying to figure out how to do this thing and trying to make things look good. All right, I'm going to do a song for you uh, on the 12 string, and uh, then I'm going to get out of here. Uh, just to wish you a happy weekend, a good Sunday, and everything. Uh, I'm going to do a song here called uh, uh, Buzzsaw. Buzzsaw is, uh, is a real fast paced tune, uh, very country ish sounding, and it's got a, uh, some real fast 12 string in it. And with the, with in the middle, it's got kind of this little funky like rock uh, lick in it in the middle of a, a bluegrassy style tune. And uh, I have to record this one sometime in a band type environment. That would be pretty uh, pretty make a fun tune. My son actually, uh, he is a, a pretty uh, accomplished musician and uh, recording artist. And he uh, he took this song and actually made it kind of this pop rock kind of thing, which is kind of fun. Maybe I'll put the link to his video and you can hear it. But he did it with uh, did made a video with his kids. Uh, this is during the COVID lockdown. He took the song and turned it into a thing, sort of like a, a Buck Rogers kind of deal. So I'll put the link in the description, and you can look up his uh, his video of this this song and how he did it and turned it into a rock piece. But anyway, without further ado, let me jump in here. I'm on the uh, piano, the twelve string, my Guild, and uh, this is a tune down one whole step in standard tuning because everybody always asks, oh, well, dude, what kind of tuning was that in? Let's see here. One, two, three.
that's buzzsaw buzzsaw <clears throat> so a strange song as far as just the uh, the key and everything it starts out in a so the first chords all kind of circulate around an a major ninth but then it goes to a c then to an a suspended to a g so it kind of bounces back between two keys throughout the song then in the middle it's got the sort of a minor riff So it's a fun one to play. Uh, the first time I played that one for an audience, I was in the Air Force. This is way back in like the 80s. And I had a, a guitar at the time. Uh, boy, I still wish I had this guitar because, you know, it's really weird how guitars will become collectible and things. I had a guitar that was made by a guy named John Graven. It was custom made. I commissioned it. First time I ever had a custom made guitar. And this thing was just amazing. It sound, The piano sounds very much like it. It had a big roaring bass and stuff on it. But I, I played this song to audition for the Air Force uh, talent show. And when I got done playing it, you know, the people that had gone before me had sung and danced. And, you know, then they had light applause to the, the room there. And when I, when I finished playing it, it was just like dead silent. Just, just stopped. People were stunned. They never heard so much sound come out of an acoustic guitar before. And uh, the room, just the mic and everything sounded really good. <laughs> and it was just like people were kind of like, whoa, what was that? And so I got the chance to play that for a pretty big audience at the, uh, the Air Force Talent Show. It was in Minot, North Dakota, of all places. Uh, we used to say in the Air Force, why not, why not? Well, it freezing's the reason. Uh, it was a place that would get like 40, 50 below in the wintertime. And uh, I was in the security police career field, and so you'd be out there walking around bombers. Luckily, I was not stationed there. I was stationed in Colorado. But the talent show was in Minot, and we got a chance to go there in like March or February. I remember there was a big sign on the highway I guess a lot of the tourists that come into that area of the country come in from Canada. They drive south out of uh, Manitoba or Winnipeg, whatever's up above North Dakota there, Alberta or Saskatchewan or something, and they would drive down into North Dakota, and they'd keep on going to South Dakota. So they had a big sign up on the highway heading south that said, uh, stay in North Dakota. South Dakota's closed this week. And uh, I thought that was a pretty funny thing. Also, it's probably the flattest place I've ever seen on earth. Uh, Kansas is pretty flat. Oklahoma is, we've got a little bit of hills here and there. That's where I live now. But it's almost as if they were in a, a kind of a very shallow basin there in Minot on the Air Force Base where it was. They used to say you couldn't go absent without leave or AWOL because three days out they could still see you running. Uh, you'd see little tiny trees out on the horizon. If you've ever been to North Dakota to Minot and if, you're, if you live in Minot, hey, salute to you. You survived another winter. Uh, they're pretty brutal up there. And uh, I guess I mean, the summers are probably pretty hot, too. Uh, so anyway, we salute you guys in North Dakota. It takes the, the, the few and the proud and the brave to be able to live in that climate. People move to Alaska from North Dakota to get milder weather. So it's pretty bad. Uh, so uh, I don't see anybody else on the, uh, the live stream here. So I've been talking to myself for a little bit. If you guys watch this after the fact, I hope you enjoy the song. I'm going to get out of here and go hang with my wife. I just wanted to try this out on a Saturday night and try having this thing go landscape. That worked. And uh, see if the sound sounds pretty good. And uh, we'll uh, catch you next time uh, here on the channel. Uh, bye, everybody. And uh, how do I turn this off again? Let's see. Oh, there's the X right there. Let me turn that off. Bye.